what up guys what up what up guys so in this video uh we're gonna be talking about how to move files from one sharepoint to another sharepoint so this is all going to be under the same organization but just moving files from one sharepoint to another to another sharepoint under the same organization so i got a request from a viewer they ultimately asked hey how do i move files from one sharepoint to another sharepoint under the same organization uh, but with Python. So I'm going to show you an easy way to do this through Power Automate. Now I am going to make another video that's going to show you how to do it using Python by all means because there may be a need to do it through Python. But, you know, Power Automate is able to do it very easy, very quick. And uh, yeah, guys, so that's kind of the purpose of making this video. Before we get started, guys, hit that like button. Give me a follow, man. I appreciate it. Give me a follow on, on Twitch, um, Twitter, on my other social media platforms as well, guys. I appreciate it. And let's get started. Okay, guys. So I have a, I created a new flow. And right now it's empty. I don't have nothing to it, right? So I'm starting from scratch. And ultimately this flow, the way I'm going to build it, there's, there's a few ways. You, there's a few trigger points you could have. You could have a trigger point based on a new file, right? And then when a new file gets dropped, move over. In this case, though, we're moving over files, like mini files from one SharePoint folder to another. So what I have is I have this developer site, which is called developer. And then I have this folder under data 2022 cells. So I have all these files in here, right? So let's say you got 50, 100, it doesn't matter, whatever, how many files. And I'm ultimately, I have another SharePoint site that I call production, which is this guy. Um, and I, I probably moved over files. Let me see. Oh, no, it's empty. So either way, the plan here is I want to be able to move all of the files from the development over to production. That's all we're trying to do here, right? M move it over. So two different sites. Uh, the, fo the, the structure, it's kind of the same pass, but it doesn't have to be. You, you know, it could be a whole different pass. It doesn't matter. Um, this, something of this sort would be ideal, right? If you're, uh, for example, maybe you got a site that's going to get decommissioned, going to get shut down and maybe, um, it's going to get split up to like multiple SharePoint sites. So now you need to move files over, you know, uh, instead of having to try to download everything manually and then upload everything manually to the site, uh, you could do what I'm about to do, right? Which we're going to have a create a power automate flow to go ahead and move that over uh, another scenario would be you know if you have a let's say production um sharepoint site and maybe there are files that are being dropped in because it's production you know operational files um you know sales reports things of that nature right you know different data files maybe are being dropped in or maybe there's excel file that users are entering in data you need to capture that data and you're trying to do some testing on it but you don't want to test against a production site, you know, so you could have something like the way I do, right? I have a development site and then you could just copy over those files over, right? You don't have to delete the file, just copy over the files. Now you could be testing with real files, but without really interacting, right? With the production environment. So there are different use cases. It just depends on what your use, use case is. <clears throat> but again, this came from a request from a viewer. So that's the whole purpose here. So let's go ahead and get started because we need a trigger point. And, and for me, it's going to be a, um, a schedule of, uh, reoccurrence, right? So maybe like once a week, I'm moving over files. You could do it once a day, it just depends on your, your, your use case. Um, so let's go to schedule. This is going to be my trigger and recursion. So that's what I'm looking at. Uh, I'm going to change this to one. A week and then I am going to say my time zone I'm central so I'm going to do central time central America or central US you can specify a specific date and time uh, for example like start time but in my my case I'm not I'm just gonna specify I want this process to run it's a Sunday and then I want it to run first thing in the morning Sunday, which would be uh, midnight pretty much. 
because it's a.m. at that time. And then, of course, the minutes would be uh, zero, right? So, again, we'll run at midnight Sunday, pretty much. Okay, so now my next step is going to be, let me find SharePoint. So, I need to get a list of files. So, there's different actions. One of the actions is called get files. So, let's call uh, get. So, you got get file properties only and then you have of course get file but again i don't want to get file file it's singular i want meaning this is get file as well i want to get files right so i'm going to go ahead and put in get files i'm going to specify the which site so in my case it's going to be the development site um under library it's going to be under documents at least in my case it's under documents right yours could be something else then I'm going to be, then I'm going to specify, I'm going to be more specific of which folder. So in my case, it's going to be uh, data 2022 and then sell. Let's see. And that's it. So now after we, after I got that, I'm going to hit the next step. So here's the thing. This is giving back. Think of it as we're getting back a list of files that belong in that folder. Right, so since we're getting a list back, we're gonna need to do some sort of iteration over that. So that's where I'm gonna go to control and it will be applied to each. I wanna iterate over each item in that list. Okay, the first thing that I'm going to, so if I click on or select an, an output from previous step, so in this case, it's gonna be the value list of items this value contains all of the items for like details properties for my specific file ultimately right then i'm going to go to action items and in this case i'm going to go back to sharepoint now i'm going to do a specific action in this case i want to copy files over from one sharepoint folder to another sharepoint folder so i'm going to search copy um there you go copy file Right, not files, it's copy file. So I'm gonna click on copy file. I'm gonna pick, I'm gonna pick the, um, the site that it's gonna come from, which is the development site. And then I need to specify the, the pass. <coughs> so in this case, if I click on it, and it will, if we look to the, over here to the right, um, there is a what is called full pass is there we go a uh, full pass let me move it up there it goes my face in the way see how we got this full pass this ultimately provides think of it as the url for the full pass so it has a site but this provides the remaining piece that to identify which file we actually are going to be getting so as we're iterating over that list this full pass um item it's giving us back the URL to know, um, you know, which file we're copying over, right? We're copying every file one by one. That's what that's doing. Next, we need to specify where it's going to go to. So you don't see production here and it's because I just created it and it takes like an hour. Or so I have noticed anytime you create a new site, it does it automatically reflect power automate. Not sure why, but I'm assuming it's because they haven't propagated down to another, um, another, um, either the metadata or some sort of, um, table or something, right? Something just hasn't, you know, uh, recognized it yet in power automate. So, but it normally takes about an hour or two, then eventually that'll get resolved. So for now, we're going to have to copy it, copy in the past manually. But nevertheless, if it feels recognized that you would find it on your drop down list. So if, if it's if it's a um, uh, let me try again destination. Oh, I gotta hit enter custom. There you go. Boom. So once I enter in custom, now I could go to folders, and then I could find under shared documents uh, data. 2022 and then sales right so i'm pretty much moving it to a folder with the same structure right in my case your case could be something different and then there's an option here if uh, if another file is already there 
you can determine what, what do you want to do. Do you want to copy with a new name, you know, fail the action or replace? In my case, I'm going to do replace. I want to replace it. And really, guys, this is it. This is all we're doing, right? It's on schedule, run once a week. We're getting a list of properties, file properties from a specific folder in SharePoint. In this case, a development SharePoint. We're going to iterate over that list. And then we're going to copy it from one, the development SharePoint, over to the production SharePoint. That's all we're doing. So now if I go ahead and hit uh, save. All right. I saved it. And let me come back and we could go ahead and run it. So let me go ahead and run this process. Uh, run flow. And you'll see down here in the history, right? It will tell us that, it, that it's running. As you could tell, I ran it 23 minutes ago. So I did run it before then and it failed. Figure out what the issue is, fixed it. Again, it's all about testing. So those of you who are just, as this runs, there's a lot that entails in making a video. Sometimes I may make a video that may be 10, 15 minutes long, but there's a lot of work before that, before the video. Sometimes it could be 30 minutes of testing, doing some research. Sometimes, dude, it literally could be a few hours of testing and doing research for a 15, 30 minute video. Um, so just kind of putting that out there, right? I know some, sometimes the video may seem like, oh, that's, you know, it's it's not a long video, so it doesn't take that long. But some again, sometime it takes longer than what what it seemed, just because you know come across some issues and then got to figure out why is this happening. And sometimes it's something stupid. Sometimes it's something legit. It just depends, right? So I do appreciate the support, guys. All the support you're getting, you know, follows, likes. Again, you're more than welcome to donate to my channel if you like. What you know, things of that nature. Um, do appreciate it. All right, cool. So it succeeded. Uh, so now let's look under the production. Boom. There you go. See production earlier when we saw it was empty. As you could tell, these just got added, added uh, about a minute ago. So all of these just got added automatically. Now we did not delete them from this folder because all we're doing is a copy right now. If you wanted to delete them, we could do an action for that. But in this case, we were trying to just copy files from one SharePoint folder to another SharePoint folder. Now, if you need to do something like that, of course, I would recommend, again, I'm a Python guy. I code in Python all the time, but sometimes using some tools that are out there, like in this case, Power Automate, dude would handle that very swiftly, man. So strongly recommend to use the right tools for the right job, right? So, but either way, I am gonna be making a video uh, using Python. Hopefully this helps out guys. Again, I got a request from a viewer. I'm going to be pushing out more and more videos coming soon. Um, I will be making a video related to what I just did, but using Python to do it because the original request was, Hey, how do I move files over from one SharePoint to another using Python? Um, so I would be, I am going to be doing that. Uh, I am going to be making another video on how to move files over from one SharePoint to another organization SharePoint. So I am gonna be, be making a video related to that. I would say that step be, is very easy to do, or a lot easier in my opinion to do with Python, because literally will be two sets of credentials, one for one SharePoint site, one for another, and then, yeah, it wouldn't be an issue at all. For Power Automate, uh, I need to play around with it to see, you know, how to authenticate, right, with another SharePoint but under a whole different set of credentials. Uh, either way, guys, hopefully this helps. Um, again, appreciate all the support. Give me a like, give me a follow, and uh, talk to y'all later, guys. Peace.